On today's video, I'm gonna share with you my experience flying Korean Airlines first class. This was an unreal treat. The food that they serve will definitely surprise you as it did me. The service is superb and the things they do, I was not expecting. Now this trip is from Seoul, Korea all the way up to New York City, which is about a 14 hours flight. There's a lot to cover and everything started right here, the lounge. So you have your own private booth right here, a little seat for your feet, a nice cup few massage chair on this lounge you get this entire thing just for you you get your private sink toothbrush they also give you mouthwash and you have the throne of all toilets which includes all of the bidet functions you would ever want they want to make sure that you are extra comfortable all kind of alcohol drinks refreshments some pastries some bread and some fruits and salad but they also bring the menu to you so you can have your a la carte and you can order whatever you want. They also have galbi here, which is Korean short rib and hanwoo beef jerky. By the way, that was the number one reason why I went to Korea. I went on a hunt trying to find this most prized beef in Korea, which is called hanwoo beef. And hanwoo beef is to Korean people what wagyu is to Japanese people. If you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend you checking it out on the link in the description later on. That was an incredible experience. Because right about this time, breakfast arrived and this is what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and add my syrup. Let's just say those pancakes sit on the bottom of my stomach really, really well. Luckily, I had a place to chill out for a second. I kind of needed it. This lunch is nice, but it's now time to go ahead and catch our plane. Let's go. I wish I had time to take the picture, but I'm late for my gate and I don't want to be late because I'm looking forward to going home, everybody. I can't wait to see my kids, my family. Let's catch that plane right now. Now, I've never experienced a plane like this before. It was a double-decker plane. I thought the first class was gonna be on top. We're actually on the second floor on the front of the plane. The reason they do this is so that you can get in first and get out first as well. As soon as you get in, the cabin and goodies they give you is quite nice, check it out. So you have a nice comfy seat right here. You also have the TV here. Let's see, oh, you got extra space here. Oh, I like that. This is quite spacious. My feet don't even reach the front. So they give you a few goodies over here. Hand cream, lip balm, face cream, toothbrush and paste. They give you this as well. Headphone pieces to make sure you can watch a nice movie. And they also give you this. Oh, it's a face mask. How do I look? Do I look comfortable? So this is the appetizer. I've never seen an appetizer like this. There's this Korean special fruit which I've never seen before. Let me show you. Have you seen this fruit? Let's see what it tastes like. I think it's like blackberry, but then they did something with it and it became nice and soft. Usually in the US, blackberry is um, not that texture and it's not sweet at all. I'm gonna start out with the shrimp or prawns. Let's see. Mmm. So good and tasty. Slightly sweet and that yogurt sauce definitely does something. Let's mix it up with some apple strings here. Mmm, so good. Once you combine everything together, it becomes nice and sweet. That yogurt sauce is so delicious. When you combine the fruits together, it's a little tangy. And there's also a cold scallop here as well. It has a good balance of acidity and also savoriness. Very good appetizer. Now let's see what's next. So the next one, we got a congee soup. Not a huge fan of soup, but smells interesting. It's okay, just uh, not for me. Next up, we got kimchi soup. This one is good. So the very first one, which was the congee, that one is a hot soup. This one is a cold soup. This one has some celery, some kimchi. Seems like it has vinegar as well, and I love vinegar. That one is delicious. She asked me, so you don't like soup? I said, no. She says, we have salad. I'm a huge fan of salad. And here they have some vegetables. And for the sauce, this is like a samjang with kojujang. Mmm, so good. A little spicy little fermented bean taste. It's so much better than soup. Now she gave me this one right here and she told me it's for refreshing. So it's kind of like a ice cream sorbet or something. 
Mm, has a lot of mint, slightly sweet, kind of like an ice cream. That was delicious. Let me show you guys what I got. So we have swordfish. They also give you some steamed rice, some seaweed. The star of the show, which is some short rib. I'm gonna go ahead and begin with a swordfish. Very mild, lightly seasoned. It's a nice fish. They also put some type of sauce on the top, which I guess that's where the flavor is coming from. Now, if you take that fish and combine it with some kimchi, Mmm, that's what you're supposed to do. Kimchi just makes everything better. You go to the next level, get some steamed rice. Mmm, that's where it's at, everybody. You gotta take a little bit of this kimchi right here and combine with that fish to give that fish more flavor. Because what happened is, that fish is very, very mild. So, combining it with kimchi, take it to the next level. Take one of these, let's make a taco. A little bit of nori with some rice, the kimchi right on top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the fish. Now that is what I'm talking about. That made me so happy. <laughs> now, I wanna try that short rib. She did say that it's a little bit spicy, so let's see. Oh, it is amazing. Super tender, fall apart, slightly spicy. Almost seems like they have cochucado, which is Korean chili flakes. They also have some vegetables here with this. That is amazing, everybody. Amazing. It has this little sauce, and it's so fantastic. Slightly spicy. It's phenomenal, man. I can't wait to see dessert. She asked me, do you want Western dessert, or do you want Korean dessert? I said, you know what? Give me both. So for Korean dessert, we have a pear. They're both pears, but this one here is with the juice or something. Then for Western dessert, there's a mousse, like a chocolate mousse with peach. And then of course, you also get ice cream, everybody. I first want to try this Korean dessert. Mmm. Yeah, she said that it was sour, and it is sour. I think it's grapefruit juice together with pear, but then the little white pear strips makes it nice and sweet. It's a nice combination of flavors. Mm, let's dig into that mousse. Oh, the mousse is extremely sweet. Now that's a dessert, baby. Finally, you get your ice cream. Hanging Daz is very popular in Korea. You literally find it in every single convenience store, and I am not complaining. Thank you, Hangen Das. That was a good amount of food, and most of it was quite delicious. But the next thing my flight attendant did was next level stuff. Check it out. So they make your own bed for you, everybody. Check it out. So now I'm gonna enjoy my sleep, because when we wake up, it's time to eat once again. That was a lovely sleep. I feel nice and refreshed. Got a little coffee, and I had my cream in there. Oh my god, this looks lovely. Let me show it to you guys. So here is the noodle dish. We got some ground beef, some vegetables and egg, noodle with a broth, mandu, which is the dumpling, the sauce for the dumpling, and then we have the sauce for the noodle as well. Oh wow, so good, thank you so much. She just added the dry seaweed in there. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the sauce. I know that sauce is gonna be wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna go in for this soup because this looks so delicious. Mmm, oh wow, that is phenomenal. So this soup, how do I describe it to you guys? Very refreshing. The meat on the top, it's almost like bulgogi. Let me taste the soup. It's like a beef broth noodle soup. It even has little pieces of roasted garlic which I lost, damn it. Wow, very delicious. Mm. Mild, beefy flavor. The combination with the vegetables together with the beef, the broth, everything is just wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna come right back to that soup, but right now I wanna try the mandu, which is the, this dumpling right here. I'm gonna dump it in the sauce. Mm. Inside it has pork, it's nice and soft because it's steamed. A little bit of vegetables in there. That sauce makes it nice and sweet and savory at the same time. I might have to ask for extra. <laughs> mm, I'll take this over breakfast any day. That is amazing. Mm, that's a 10 out of 10, will highly recommend. Overall, this was an amazing flight and incredible experience. Korea is a beautiful country with many things for you to see. Stay tuned because several videos are coming from that trip. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.